that the DA won't be able to use any of the information Jessica Kelly okay. gave them, but now they're going after her for murder. One of the things that um, has been raised repeatedly is this idea that, you know, she, that, that maybe Jessica Kelly did this all by herself, and we don't believe that to be true. But regardless, District Attorney Raul Torres says they couldn't secure a deal with Jessica Kelly, so they're going after her for murder, one of her original charges. Two weeks ago, they were willing to make a deal with her to have her testify for the prosecution against Fabian Gonzalez based on these facts. Now they're saying, all right, that's all changed. Now we're going forward. We're moving against her. The district attorney's goal was to use Kelly as a witness against her cousin, Fabian Gonzalez, another suspect in this case. She told prosecutors the night she was watching Victoria Martins, a man she didn't know walked into the apartment and she did nothing to stop the man from raping and killing Victoria. She said the man asked for Gonzalez seeking revenge. In exchange, Kelly's murder charge would have been dropped. Instead, she would have been charged with child abuse resulting in death. But since the judge said no to the plea deal, the DA can't use what Kelly said in court at all. And the DA is now going after her. All of us have heard that. All of us have seen that. But the fact is, is they can't use that because it was part of an immunity deal that they had with her. So they've got to move forward without that information, acting as if it never happened. The DA says Kelly should still face a murder charge because she willingly watched Victoria knowing she was high on meth. Katie Mosh, KOAT, Action 7 News.